so through these about two years of establishing this YouTube channel, Freddy's Modern Kung Fu, noticing and experimenting with how I'm trying to share something different to the world, I see that being rigid with my ideas and structure is not the best way to reach out to people. So at this point in the development of FMK, I've decided to open up the school to be networked with a more vast majority of people that want to represent something different in the martial arts. So I know that there's a lot of talented people out there in the martial arts that are already good at what they do. So if they're already talented, then typically they don't want to accept another person as a master, a sifu, or a teacher when they could just teach themselves or learn from the world, meaning basically learn from everything. You know, internet, YouTube, animals, random people on the streets. So they don't need to accept one single person to be a teacher because they're kind of beyond that point. So I understand that. So what I want to do is to make FMK a place to gather martial artists and human beings in general who really value like a higher way of living and I call it balancing body, mind and spirit but essentially when it comes to in regards to the martial arts people that are familiar with my videos should get a sense and understanding of what I'm trying to promote I'm trying to promote a more peaceful artistic and creative expression in the martial arts aside from all this organized violence that you see in combat sport so as long as the people have this understanding then I open up the school to network with experienced martial artists to help them express their way their art or even their school where we gather up martial artists that just love to train because they love it not because they seek for great fame or fortune or not because they feel like they have to hurt other people in order to demonstrate that they're capable so it doesn't mean that by joining an experienced martial artist has to accept me as a sifu or a master or make themselves feel that they are below me it's not about that it's about gathering people together to represent something different to the world so you may have Hollywood that gathers up a bunch of actors to express entertainment to express certain ideas and creativities within the movie industry you may have the organizer of these cage fights like 
UFC that gathers up a bunch of aggressive bullies that want to fight for money. And then for me, I want to gather up a bunch of people who want to represent something more artistic and creative within the martial arts without having to hurt other people in order to display their combative techniques. So I support every martial artist that wishes to express their art creatively, artistically, not in destructive ways, not in combat sport, but in more peaceful ways. So essentially all the people that practice the martial arts that have decided and realized that There's no sense in competition. I just train because I love to train. It's not for competitive reasons. Then I welcome you to become a part of FMK in one way or another in order to gather up a group of people that hold similar values in which to create a positive energy force in which to make a greater impact in society. Becoming involved through communicating through the FMK blog, through submitting videos, posting videos, expressing their art, expressing their ideas. Yes, YouTube brings together people from all over the world, but it's not regulated. You're mixing in a bunch of um, violent bullies with people that are the opposite. You're mixing in a bunch of people that may have a lot of negative energy with positive, and then you mix it in with positive energy. Everything's all jumbled up and mixed up, very complex. And also, it's very difficult to get to know, establish a, a community. It's like a bunch of strangers. Essentially, it's like driving down the road with a bunch of people in other cars and then nobody knows anybody. Everybody's driving on the same road but nobody knows who's driving or what. But then you could have an established say gym inviting certain people to attend and then within that gym strong friendships, relationships could be built upon. So within YouTube, I established the FMK to gather up a bunch of people that can hold similar values in which they could grow with one another, get to know one another, possibly possibly develop close relations with one, with one another. It's not about what style you practice, it's not about what skin color you are. It's not about whether or not you're male or female. It's not about how athletic you are. None of that matters. What matters to me the most is that we have this common theme. And that theme is to promote something positive, peaceful, loving, compassionate, creative within the martial arts. Not destructive, not hateful, not violent, not aggressive, but the opposite of that. If we have that understanding, then I invite you to become a part of FMK.
so we could make a greater impact in society through working together. We do not need to knock people out, break people's jaws and noses and teeth and destroy people violently in order to demonstrate that we're capable in the martial arts. We do, do not need to do that. If you are in agreement with that, I invite you to become a part of this family to help express a different way. And those who do not have experience, I can help train you to become experienced, to become capable, to become confident in what you could do. But those who do have experience, you could use this school as a way to network, to further express your art, your school, and your way. As long as we have the agreement that we need to express something positive, creative, not destructive within the martial arts. Basically, learn to express the martial arts with a non-competitive mentality, which is a, a rare thing in modern society, but it's something that I wish to promote. So I know that when it comes to a lot of people that are experienced and a lot of big egos get involved, it may become very difficult to work with one another. Just like when Bruce Lee had to make his movies, he wanted to invite experienced martial artists to take part in the movies to make it a better, more entertaining movie. And these experienced martial artists had to lessen their ego in order to participate. Some did not want to participate because their egos were too strong. They want, didn't want to be on screen and allow Bruce to beat him up on screen, so-called beat him up on screen. Too much ego. But here I'm not asking to beat up anybody on screen or anything like that. This is just a group that I'm trying to bring together in order to express something different. So it's no different than just um, maybe joining a gym and working out in the gym. It has nothing to do with being stronger, or more athletic, or more capable than the gym owner. Just join the gym and see the, the positives of um, having membership in that gym and that's why you join. Within the FMK, the positives can be the friendships and relationships that could be built through the online community and it could be the marketing of helping you reach out to more people about what you do and have people um, know that you're out there and that you do exist that there are martial artists out there that don't compete that don't need to win medals and trophies and belts or whatever or money in order to train